Honorable Chancellor, Honorable Vice Chancellor of USTM and other dignitaries, it's a pleasure for me to be here. Uh, it's my first time in Meghalaya and it is a, a real surprise to see uh, the developments uh, which have happened here and the focus on research uh, that USTM is uh, placing. Uh, I see that I've been given 30 minutes. I don't like giving long speeches. I'll be very brief. Um, so uh, basically, you know, what I wanted to emphasize is that I think one is you have to take and learn from the example of uh, the founder. What I heard is he has started from very modest background and he has come to the level of, uh, you know, uh, building this institution and making it and trying to make it into a, a very, uh, you know, excellent institution. So all the students here should therefore take heart from this that it doesn't matter what your background is, as long as you have the passion uh, to excel, I think you can achieve great things in life. Uh, so I expect all of you would uh, achieve great things. Um, and uh, coming to the research part, it's, uh, very important that it is being fostered here and for the first time a research scholars conclave is being organized in the Northeast uh, because there are so many issues, uh, you know, there are, of course, there are fundamental research issues which all of us need to address as uh, researchers. But in addition, there are also a lot of local issues, uh, peculiar and unique to the Northeast, which need addressing. Um, so these are best done by institutions located in the Northeast who have the knowledge of the local uh, environment. So I think uh, because people often, sometimes all of us, I'm not just you, but I'm even everybody in IAC, etc., we tend to think of problems uh, which are, you know, relevant, uh, maybe, you know, which have basic discoveries, fundamental discoveries, uh, and so on, but equally important are those which will have a social impact in the region that you live in. So I think it's important that you also focus on that in addition to the basic research uh, that you do, uh, because only if you address these local issues can India become uh, a great nation. If we only address uh, basic issues as formulated in the West, and uh, we keep following what the West does, uh, then we are not going to achieve greatness. Uh, we have to rely on our local strength, local uh, environment, and try to make an impact here. Once you make an impact here, automatically you will make an impact the world over. Because anything you develop for India, for example, you uh, develop some uh, you know, uh, novel technology or novel discovery which benefits the people of India and in particular the people of the Northeast, this will automatically also benefit the people of the developing world. Uh, so you are going to impact billions of people by making these discoveries and uh, innovations. Uh, whereas if you are going to follow what is being done in the West, then you'll always be following and you'll, you're not going to be a leader in any area. So I think it's best that you have the confidence and, and it's not that I'm saying something to you, we all fall in the same trap. I'm including myself in this. We all fall in the same trap that we just say, okay, we try to do what the West has been doing. So that's also important, of course. There are important problems which affect you know, the basic discoveries, the fundamental discoveries, but there should be a balance, that's all I'm saying. So you uh, please make sure that uh, you uh, have impact by addressing local issues also. And many of these issues can lead to uh, fundamental uh, discoveries. Uh, that is something which is underappreciated, that it is uh, these practical problems which lead to great discoveries. Uh, it is not just sitting in your office or your lab and thinking about something. But when you encounter a real life problem, then um, you, know, you know the difficulties that have to be uh, addressed. And uh, also, I think there should be a lot of emphasis on innovation. Um, I hope uh, you know, the, it is not just research, but translating the research to practical products. Innovation has become a big uh, mantra for the government and for the nation. You see a lot of startups uh, coming up. Of course, I am from Bangalore, which is the startup capital of uh, India. 
so you see so many of the students coming up with new ideas which nobody else has thought about and uh, creating new products um, which benefit uh, millions of people so uh, just don't stick to basic research also see whether your research can be translated to innovations uh, you can form companies there's a lot of support from the government for forming companies uh, for startups uh, so you will uh, receive the recognition, you will be your own master, you don't have to work for somebody, uh, you can create your own companies, employ others, so these are some things which are the advantages of startups, but you should be not, you should not be afraid of failure. That is something in India, you know, which holds us back, we always fear failure, you know, we don't care, uh, you know, if the project is a great success or not, but we don't want, you know, as long as we do something, it's okay. But we don't want to take great risks, which can also lead to big failures. And that holds us back uh, in creating exciting discoveries, exciting innovations. So I think you are all young. You can take the risks. You should not worry about what others think, whether they say, oh, this person tried this and the whole project failed. That's okay. You know, many times, uh, you know, you fail several several on several occasions and then you succeed but then when you succeed you have a big success and that will be much bigger success than all the others who are doing incremental uh, progress so you should uh, try for these big leaps forward and that uh, comes about only when you uh, take risks i think that risk taking ability is something we should foster in our students saying that don't worry if you fail we are with you and I think it's also important that the parents and the families also foster this because normally that is the issue. If people get afraid, then people start criticizing and then people say, okay, let me not do this, let me do something safe uh, where there is no chance of failure, but the progress you make is only incremental. So these are the uh, you know, uh, ideas I wanted to give you. Uh, be passionate in what you do, take risks, you are young, you can all, any failures you can always recover from and uh, I'm, I am uh, guaranteeing you that you will learn from these failures and the next time you do it, it is going to be a success. Uh, so with these words, uh, let me wish uh, all the best for this uh, Research Scholars Conclave. I'm sure you will have a wonderful session. Thank you all.